is Mr. Ho, and I'm one of the ICT teacher. I know some of you may have questions on how to use Google Classroom. Today, I'm going to answer the questions. Are you ready? Let's take out your computer and get started. First thing after you get into Google Classroom site, you will need to sign in with your YYPS email account. If you forget or haven't received the information, please contact your ICT teachers and they will help you to set up your account. After signing in with your account, there are three areas that you should know. First, your account. This area is where you can change your name. It is always good for teachers to be able to match your name with their student list. Second, join class button. At the beginning of each school term, teacher will be asking students to join different classes. By clicking this button, student will be able to join the class with a Google Classroom code. And don't worry, this code will be given by your teacher before you have to join the class. Class panel. In this area, you will be able to see all the classes that you have joined. By simply clicking individual classes, you will be ready to start your class. Now, let's focus on the class panel and see what's inside each class. All classes should have the same layout as you see on the screen. In each classes, it's separated into three major areas. Let's talk about them. First, stream. In this panel, you will find all the recent activities and comments within this class in the middle area. And on the left side, you will find all the upcoming assignments. Here is a tip for you. You should always check this panel to avoid late assignments. Also, please don't forget to hit the submit button after you finish your assignment. If not, your teacher will not receive your work. Second, classwork. In this panel, you will find all the assignments that you have to finish in this class. By simply clicking the assignment that you would like to do, you will see the instruction from your teachers on how to complete the task. After you have finished your assignment, you will have to upload and submit your work by simply clicking this blue button. Whoa, don't click it yet. You have not finished your assignment yet. Third, people. In this panel, you will find a list of students who are studying with you in the same class. So far, how do you feel about using Google Classroom? It's your turn to do what you have learned from this video. Take some time to explore it. I know you can do it. I will see you in the class soon. Bye.